Hi, I'm Rob Stenberg. Welcome to another installment of the Amzol Information Series. And as you can tell, I'm in cold storage. It's time to put the bike away for wintertime. But we want to make sure that it's ready for riding in the spring. So we're on the road. We're going to talk to the experts at RJ Sport and Cycle in Hermantown, Minnesota to give you some tips on winterizing your bike. Stan, how are you doing today? Hey, Rob. Good to see you again. Well, thanks for coming in again. Well, we appreciate being here. And I see a lot of sleds on the floor. I don't see a lot of motorcycles. It's winter. Time to winterize those bikes and make sure they're in storage and stored correctly. What do we need to do? We're going to go talk with Jeff, our service manager. He's been here for 30 years, and he'll tell us all about it. Let's go talk to him. Let's go. Jeff, how you doing? Hello, good Rob. To, good to see you. We appreciate you being here. We know you're the expert. I need to winterize my bike. It's winter time. I need to store this puppy. What's the first step I need to take? We need to fuel stabilize the fuel system. Okay. Uh, fill up the gas tank. Keep rust from creating on the inside of the gas tank. If that gas tank isn't completely full, what happens? Uh, you get air and moisture in there, and there, that's when you get the rust. Okay. If it's full of gas, it can't rust. All right, so we got that stabilized and we've got that gas tank full. And then uh, you should run it for at least 15 minutes or so to get the fuel through the system. And you want to make sure you get the exhaust pipes hot enough to dry out. Oh, instead okay. Instead of uh, running the motor and filling the exhaust full of moisture. and Make sure all that moisture is out of your exhaust system. What happens right. if, that, if that moisture stays in there? Well, it'll, it'll rust the pipes from the inside out. Not good. Pipes are expensive. Yes, they are. Uh, you'd want to change your uh, engine oil filter. Okay. Clean, fresh oil in there for the winter. You don't want for that storage. contaminated stuff sitting yep. in there all winter. Yep. Uh, typically, you would uh, want to uh, park the tires on, on maybe like a small piece of plywood under each tire. Okay, now why do I want to do that? Why do I want to keep them well, off? Well, you of keep the uh, moisture and, and from rotting through, say, like a cement floor or okay. a dirt floor. Keep the tires in good shape? Yep. Okay, so now I've, I've, I've gone ahead, I've stabilized the fuel, I've got my oil changed, I've uh, made sure that I've got my tires up off the, off the cement or dirt floor. What about temperature? What what kind of temperature should I be storing my bike in? Uh, you want to try to store it in a, a place that uh, maybe the sun doesn't shine on, so you get the, the hot and cold. Okay. Uh, a three screen room would be terrible for it. Okay. <laughs> so in other words, I guess it doesn't matter if it's stored in some place that's 75 or zero, just as long as the temperature is constant? Pretty constant, so you okay. don't end up with hot and cold and condensation. And if we have hot and cold and condensation, we get? We get moisture and rust. And those are bad things. Bad we know things about that. Bad things for a motorcycle. All right, so I've gone ahead, I've done all this. One last question, tell me what happens if I don't take care of this and do this maintenance before I store my bike? Well, you end up uh, with rusty components. Uh, the biggest trouble usually is fuel system. Old gas, rusty tanks, Gums plugged things up, up cars. Ugh. We want to help people avoid yeah. those kind of yeah. problems. We want this bike ready to go come springtime, don't yeah. we? Yeah, it's much easier. All right, hey, Jeff, thanks you a lot. Bet. We appreciate you being Thank here. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For the Amzol Information Series, I'm Rob Stenberg. We'll see you next time.